same men. Carbon copies that take her shopping because she's so accustomed to finding comfort in coach purses that she can't see that this man's worth is only a monetary value. And even though he cheats, he still treated her with respect and opened her doors. That is, she opens her doors for him. And then it's just cold weather and hot tempered, like face down. She'll take hit after hit until her shell starts to wear thin. Her chain quivers and stays close to her chest while the rest of her self confidence leaves her body. And that boy that she's with hardly even notices her self inflicted cuts, unit deep in her esteem. He leaves and she's left naked, shaken, faceless, clutching a dear Jane letter soaked in tears. And it's been years since she's seen her own reflection. Because our society has taught these girls that their mirrors shine the eyes of the world. So before that sun rises to expose her bare skin, she comes up the bruises with a Maybelline mask. Her lashes scorched with sin from the night before. Her swollen eyes lined black, thick enough to catch her tears. While she attempts to clear her throat, choked of the venomous remnants, meant to alone. She lays there alone. Curl into a ball of her own self pity. She is the epitome of a paradoxical beauty with each stinging layer of makeup to make herself feel more appealing. She's further concealing the way God made her. She's betrayed herself for all her own attention. 